Hello, thank you so much for connecting again to Upwards. This is a channel that we seek to inform you, inspire you, and hopefully that create impact in your life. This past Saturday, we had a very great event, a Kenyan event. We call it Independence Day, uh, but then it's more of Nyamachoma event for the Kenyan community uh, within Maryland, Baltimore. So I want you to, you know, as you uh, just go through this video today, please like, share. Thank you so much for those of you that are, are coming back as a, a subscriber. I'm honored and appreciate that. Help me grow this channel. Uh, this, I believe, is maybe my third video that I'm uploading, and I'm looking forward to your support. In advance, I thank you. I thank you so, so much. So let's see what happened. Let's take a look. Money, it's a fintech. You guys do sending money. Yeah, we send money. It's an app that you send money back to uh, Africa. Right. Uh, First of all, tell us your names, what you guys do, how we can get in touch with your company, and the rest of the stuff. So, my name is Jackie Shiro. Uh -huh. My name is Cecilia. Uh, we are based here in the United, uh, US. Our company, we work for a company called Tap Tap Send. Tap Tap Send is the way to send money abroad back home. Um, our company is based in UK, but we are the ambassadors here in the US. Tap Tap Send, our rates are very good. Right now we are at 139. Sending is free, it's secure. And actually, when you use my promo code CESSS, -S, we are giving you a bonus of $20. So you can go to Google Play, download Tap Tap Send, and you'll be able to get some free money. You know now times are hard back in Kenya. So you can send money from the US, from Canada, Switzerland, Germany, Australia, New Zealand. All these people can send money back to Kenya. And also if you have people from Nigeria, India, Philippines, they can use our Tap Tap Send to send money back home. One yeah. question for you. Do you charge for 
transfer fees. Is it, yeah, transfer fees? No, it is zero transfer. Ah, okay. Zero transfer. As you can see behind us, we have a, a very nice um, a banner. Right. It says you can send the money to oh, the M Pesa. Yeah. And you can send also to the bank. Any kind of bank that you have, you yeah. can use our app. And also you download it from Google Play and Apple Store. Tap tap. The only way to send money back home. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much. So it, it said well, both uh, Android and uh, iPhone, you can always yeah, download. You can always download. It's very easy. It's secure. It's the best way to send money back home. And our rates are very nice. And it's instant. Like if you have emergency, send money right now. They get the money just like lightning. Just like that. Please switch to Tap Tap Send today and you'll enjoy our services. We'll leave, we'll leave all the information uh, below the video so that you can get in touch with them on how you can download and all that. Thank you so much. Hi, hi. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to Baltimore. Oh, thank you. Thank we are glad you so that you're here. Thank you. I'm honored today to meet Sarah. Uh, she's all the way, she came all the way, drove all the way from New Jersey uh, to come and attend this event. And uh, they are doing an amazing, amazing job back in New Jersey. Sarah. I was honored to see what you're doing online the other day and I said that's how things ought to be done. Tell us more about Jumbolis. You talked about some of the, I think we, I call it Kenyan Yellow Pages. <laughs> yeah, just you can tell us what you guys do. Sure is Kenyan Yellow, yellow Pages. Uh, what we do at uh, Jumbolis, uh, we list businesses right. that are owned by Kenyans. Uh, here in the diaspora, particularly here in the US and also in uh, Canada. Right. We also list businesses that are in Kenya that are interested in venturing into a market here in the, in the diaspora. Yes. Now the thing is, yeah. uh, listing the business and creating an account is free. We do not charge. So you have a website where somebody can do this? Yes, yeah. we have a website. It's www jabolist.com right. you can go there create an account and list your business awesome awesome thank you so much i'm looking forward to you know seeing more of what you guys will be doing we'll be leaving the link to their website uh, just below this uh, video please be sure to visit their website all the contact information especially if you want to do any branding any uh, promote your business whatever you need to promote here in diaspora, I would recommend what they are doing. They are doing an absolutely amazing job. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much. You, thank you so much. So nice meeting you. Yeah, they are nice looking meeting. forward to many more stuff that you guys will be, thank uh, will be doing. I mean, I, I, I don't know whether we have an opportunity sure, to sure, share go ahead. about yeah. what, uh, what else we are doing. Please go ahead. Yes. So besides just having the free directory, we do host exports. Like in July, in Memorial Day weekend in New Jersey, we usually have an expo. The one that we just concluded this year, we had over 700 people attend. And uh, we were honored to uh, to host the CS of Land. Right. Zach, uh, That's from Kenya, yeah? His Excellency, yes. Zachary right. Jello. Right. We also had uh, two ambassadors who graced the occasion and many other. We also had, had many other. You know, uh, we had many other. I'm sorry. <laughs> we also had there, many there are a lot of other. Other yeah. directory. Yeah. Uh, you know, honorable that right. were attended. Right. So it was a great uh, event, a three-day weekend, and we'll have another expo uh, of uh, the same or even bigger next year, Memorial Day weekend. You are all invited to come to New Jersey, where we'll be hosting the expo to expose what Kenyans are doing. And Bata, we should be there. I'm yes, planning yes, yes. to come. I like the organization. Yes. Very excellent the way you're doing everything and uh, we appreciate that you're representing us well. We are, we are very excited and uh, we do marketing. If you need any marketing here in the US, Canada or in Kenya, we market businesses. We organize tours right. for the company right. here in the US. So we are here to serve the community. Awesome, awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much for your time. Looking Thank you forward so much to for having learning more from you. Of course. Um, good day Kenyans at the park, very happy to see everyone over here today, it's a marvelous day and the weather is still so fine for this. My name is Jennifer Chege, I'm uh, taking care of Diaspora Banking at Family Bank and uh, 
what we offer to the Kenyans is uh, dollar accounts, dollar loans. We have Kenya shillings account. That is the Kenya Daima uh, savings account and Kenya Daima savings dollar or Kenya shillings. And uh, today is the D day. And what I'm talking about the dollar account to emphasize on it is one: when you have a dollar account, you're able to send money directly to your dollar account back at Family Bank and save it in dollar. How beautiful for you to get your dollar as a dollar. Most of you have been asking, when I put a dollar account from, let's say, my Bank of America, I put my dollar in Family Bank, will I, what rate will I get it at? But this is not the, the, the story. The story is you get your dollar the way it is, so it doesn't convert. So you earn value and there are no conversion losses. We also do investments. Do you want to purchase a single dwelling, a single dwelling house? Or do you want to purchase a commercial building? All that we do for you and that have very good interest rate and we also give you a dollar loan. Why I'm keeping talking about dollars is because I realize that you earn in dollars. We also do car purchase. You want to purchase a car back home for your family, probably for them to run around. They work so hard for you, be it your, your parents, be it your brothers, sisters. You can have a car back home by family bank. Insurance. We all encounter death at one point and God forbid you lose your loved one back at home. All I know and Kenyans I wish to thank you for coming together and uh, co condoling with the ones who are bereaved. But Family Bank has come in to fill that gap. We can give you an insurance plan that allows you to bury your loved one with dignity. This can be either yourself as a principal account holder or be it anyone in a neutral family, father, even your father-in-law, mother-in-law and your four siblings. So Family Bank has that. And one more thing, we have custodial services. Everyone is asking about stocks, shares. Everyone is asking about bonds. The other day we had uh, our CS uh, talking about uh, our, uh, our CBK governor talking about the infrastructure bonds. So they are soon coming in the dollar form. And Family Bank would like to support you. But meanwhile, we are there to support you with the bonds in Kenya shilling and all your money will be with a credible partner and that is Family Bank. So join us uh, here. Uh, this is Jennifer at 1717-982-9706 is my number in the US all the way till the 19th of July and Jackie, my colleague, right there at uh, 717-982-9709 and you can WhatsApp me on my Kenyan line at 254-722-826-671 and if you can't reach us, email us at diasporabanking at familybank.co.ke I don't know if there's anything much I can say but Kenyans join in and invest with Family Bank and it's Family Bank with you for life. Thank you Kenyans for showing up. Asante. A quick question. Uh, for those who are here in Diaspora, especially those who are already here yes. and they want to open an account, yes. what are the things that they will need for them to open that account? Okay, the three simple requirements that if you're here at the park or if you're within the US, you can open with a Kenyan ID or Kenyan passport. It only has to be valid. Your KRA pin, if you don't have it, it's easy to generate if you have a, a Kenyan ID and we need a utility bill. This also works for the, your US driver's license. US utility bill. Yes, US here with your address, your current address. Those three simple requirements, I can break up on that. Bill, utility bill or US driver's license. Your Kenyan ID or Kenyan passport, if you don't have that's a conversation that you can pick up as long as you're Kenyan. And your Kenyan passport, that is it. Thank you, so yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, you. we'll leave all the description of, uh, uh, we'll leave the link and the contacts that she has just provided yes. below this, uh, the, this video. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank uh, you. Jamuhuri, uh, Diaspora Sako. And I'm privileged to talk to one of the founders. I believe the trustee, the founder, she's gonna tell us more about herself and what they do and uh, how you can uh, be part of this great organization. Yes, my name is Rachel Liaye. I'm one of the founders of uh, Jamhuri Diaspora Circle. And it's a, a circle that we decided to form here in America. 
It's a unique one because here in America we don't have such. Uh, we usually have them in Kenya. We decided to invest here because most of our children that are growing up here, they may not be able to go back to our country and uh, get whatever we have invested there. But if we invest here, they'll be able to acquire what we have invested and move on. Because whatever we do, you always do it for your children. So do it here for your children that they may uh, be able to inherit your, uh, have your inheritance here in America. Right. Yeah. Awesome. So is it open to anyone? Uh, or what are the, some of the, if I wanted to join or someone wanted to join, what is it that uh, they need to do? Uh, as long as you are um, uh, in America and you have your ID, that's all that is required. It doesn't matter whether you have papers or you don't have papers, that we are not, uh, we are not looking at that. And uh, our registration fee is uh, $200. Uh, we have, we are selling shares, a minimum of five shares. One share is $200, so it's a minimum of $1,000. You can buy more. These people, my friend, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. Karibu, karibu. Asante, sana. I see you here in person. Yes, I'm here in person. Uh -huh. In full force. Please, do you want to be able to do it? Do you want to be able to do Naendelea mzuri, huduma okay. ni mzuri, awesome. biashara ni mzuri. Tuko awesome. na biashara mara mingi, tuko right. na biashara hapa in America right. na tuko na mabiashara Kenya okay. and, else, and, and elsewhere. Well, let, let me ask you because you've yes, been sir. here for a long long time. Yes. What is some of the advice you'd give Kenyans because I see we are so many of us that have come here yes. and people are looking for opportunities to invest. Yes. I know you're an investor both here and both back at home. Correct. What is your advice? My advice is the opportunities are there and they are quite uh, with, they are quite large. Right. Now, invest where you can you can afford to. Investment is always the right way to go. It's a good way to go. Right. Yes. So do not do not fear to invest. But what would you encourage? I know people have different passions and maybe the type of in, uh, investment might be different. Okay. But uh, in your view, uh -huh. what would be the ideal form of investment? Would it be land? Would it be Kenyan stocks? Would it be... Uh, when I started, yeah. I was not the way I am. I know. I was a little bit more tolerant. <laughs> I started with Forex. Right. Then from Forex, right. I went to options. Right. Now from options, I went to other stuff too. Right. So it, it depends with the tolerance that you have right now. I will not advise somebody to jump into Forex right. unless you really know what you are doing. It took me years, right. you know, for me to master that field, to make good gains. And then from there, when I had good capital, and now I was, I was able to move on to our options. Awesome. Options. So so from to, options now, options. Um, I, I still do options, right. but uh, very much I'm not into, into options now. That one is just a vehicle now to hold right. onto the capital. Right. Now, so now there are other things that I'm doing. I'm, I'm very much right now doing machinalists, being machinalists, right. you know, refineries, right. you know, such kind of uh, investments. This is a heavy investor. Please, uh, I'll leave some of his uh, contacts below if you want to get some information, some advice. Uh, he's a good preacher, good minister, powerful man of God. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you whichever way possible. Thank you so much, my brother. God bless you. you so Always much. a It's actually a video. Hello, my name is Delegate Carl Jackson. I represent the 8th Legislative District in the Maryland House of Delegates. I'm so excited to be here at the Kenyan Community Day event. Uh, there's lots of fun, there's lots of vendors, there's good food. Uh, today was the first time I actually ate goat, so that was exciting. Uh, but I'm just so excited to be here um, and just to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Kenyan community. I'm so proud to be an advocate for the Kenyan community. Uh, residents that lives in my district and I will keep being that uh, as long as I hold this seat I will be a partner and a friend to the Kenyan community and if there's anything that I could do to be of help please don't hesitate to reach out to me once again uh, it's an honor for me to be here and I'll definitely be back next year I am honored to have uh, with me uh one of the representatives of the Dele House of Delegates, well, Miss Winnie, and uh, she's gonna give us more information on what they do, and uh, uh, we'll move on from we'll move on from there. Um, when I'm out here.
are doing is showing the community their local delegation and their senators and giving them opportunities to apply for scholarships or for internships or for pages in the House of Delegates. We offer so many opportunities for the young people of the state of Maryland and I'm hoping that they will take advantage of this and come and look us up and put in application. So this is for people within Baltimore or all the counties? The whole state of Maryland, Baltimore County, you name it, we Howard go County. Howard County, Howard County. Gar Garrett County, Frederick County, Howard County, yes, everybody. And all that information they can get on your website. They can get on the website, it's go to the Maryland General Assembly website and it says find my representative and they put their address and their zip code and they can get all that information from the governor on down. Awesome. Thank you so much, Miss Trina. I appreciate Thank your time. You. Thank you for all that you're doing for all of us in, in Maryland. Thank you're you. You're all doing an awesome job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, we are here at the Afri Thrive, and they are doing an awesome job uh, serving the community. And I'm here with one of the co-founders uh, of this organization. Please just tell us what you're doing and uh, uh, how we can benefit from what you're doing. Uh, thank you for uh, coming to our tent. My name is uh, Dr. Trufana Jyoti. I'm the founder and CEO of Avri Thrive. And uh, what we do with Avri Thrive, we are dedicated to promoting or improving the health and well-being of African immigrants right. in the greater Washington, D.C. area. Yeah. So we serve uh, from D.C., Montgomery County, Prince George's County, Baltimore, and Baltimore City. And what we do is we focus on what our flagship program is the Healthy Food Initiative. Right. And through this, we run a food pantry right. where we provide culturally appropriate food. Right. And what you see here, this is a Wimby flour that is uh, very nutritious, especially uh, for children because it's full of iron and people with um, lifestyle diseases, for example, diabetes and blood pressure, we recommend this one. And the Unga Ugali, we also provide vegetables and uh, we have a, a two-acre farm where we grow the vegetables, managu, kunde, pumpkin leaves. The coolers you see there have kunde, they have pumpkin leaves, and the managu we have brought um, to uh, people who need the, the, the vegetables. And also, in addition to what we do here in food distribution, we do mentoring uh, for our young people. We have a mentorship program that takes care of children from middle school to high school through college. So we pair them with mentors and they work with them in different areas. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, just a very quick one because you mentioned that you're serving Maryland, a Baltimore area and the greater Washington uh, DC. Uh, is there a is there a certain group set that you serve or this is just open to every anyone? When I say group set, is it for... Because um, I know we, there are a lot of people going through financial hardship and some maybe um, might not be because of financial hardship but then access to some of what nutrition uh, nutritious uh, diet like what you're serving. So is it to a particular group of people who maybe cannot afford food or is it just open, your services, are they open to everybody? Uh, our focus is on uh, food insecure families, people who have lost their jobs or they're struggling right. and they are doing a trade of whether to you know, provide food for their families or pay their bills or pay their rent. And so we bring in the healthy food because when you're struggling and you want to make trade off, many cases, you know, food servers, we get chunk into our bodies. So our initiative is to keep us healthy. And that's why we focus on healthy food. It's open to everyone, but our focus is on the families that are struggling. Right. So if right. anybody needs um, flour, we give it. We, I mean, it's free. You 
mention about the mentorship program is uh, how does that work? Do you have a location where people can, or the information how people can get to you and how can they benefit from that too? Yeah, if interested and if you have a child who is 10 years and above, we do uh, enrollment for like, for, for example, now next month we are enrolling for the September intake. You can go to our website www.avrithrive.org and scroll Thrive Mentors and then you fill out the form somebody will reach out to you so we have mentors that will reach out to you and we work together we're trying to position our children because we realize that when parents are working two three jobs children suffer because nobody's helping them with homework right, right. and we have adults who are willing to help and our focus going for the new year we want to position our children towards success in STEM subjects because we find that STEM is one of the areas our children are suffering. So we'll be focusing on helping them to focus on STEM. And at the same time, exposing them to farming because we do farming, we have a two-acre farm. So we want to see how that technology can help them think through how they can support farming. I know one of the questions that someone might want to ask is their food organic or is it a GMO? Well, that's a debate for another day. But uh, how, how is your farming like? Our, our food is purely organic uh, because we don't use any chemicals, we don't use any fertilizers. We get the seeds, plant them, and Mother Nature has been very, very cooperative to us. And we have seen an abundance of harvest. So it's purely organic. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Choti, you. for your Thank time you and so for serving much. the community. We really appreciate you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. It's my passion. Too. Thank you. Thank well, if you're at the festival today, be sure uh, to uh, visit their table. I will leave all the information below the, uh, the video so that you can be able to reach out to them. All these programs that they have and how to access to them. Thank you so much. Thank God bless you. you. We appreciate the past. Welcome. God bless We just finished high school. Uh -huh. I think you're in campus, yeah? You have to yes. follow your Macampo. Yes. Yeah. This guy, Ambrose, just. Same Ambrose. Ambrose at a joint in the evening. Only general. Many, many, many years. Right, right. Many nice years. meeting you. Nice meeting you, Pastor. Watching you on the app, not to care, sell up Yeah. Abarizemo, how are you finding the location? Your camera there. Um, my camera is That's alright. Hi, the little one. What's your name? What's your name? Levi. How did you find your occasion? You got some food? Sorry, not yet. I just saw some people coming with Yamachoma there, so coming. In. So you might want to go and see if they still have. Yeah. Sawa sawa. Nice talking to you. I'm told the people really enjoyed the thing I hear. The ones who enjoy the event are here. Yeah. Is that true? How did you find the event? Your camera did. Oh, the event was wonderful. It's too late. I have already. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good connection. Did you get some food? The yeah. food was great. Yama was good. Yama was great. And it's a good for our kids. So that's awesome. working for that's the kids. For yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Faith, nice to see you. Now where were you? Tua Mauniato. Come on, Asalamu. Tuma Asalamu. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad you liked it, you enjoyed the event. Yeah, we'll see you around then we have talk to people here and there. Okay, thanks. 
Big Boss. It was good, we just got here. Oh, you got here? No, I really think that that's you finished the food. You're welcome. I'm here with the uh, real uh, CEO of uh, what's the name of the company again? Almod Investments. Please tell us about your name, what you do, and uh, well, let's move from there. All right, thank you very much. My name is Christmas Washira. I'm the managing director at Almod Estate, a real estate company operating in the Republic of Kenya since 2014. We are in the business of selling land and housing, and in this case, affordable land and affordable housing. This is what we've been doing since 2014. Uh, we started off with the land and we ventured into housing in 2020 in the midst of COVID. And uh, so far in housing, we are venturing into our fourth housing project. We, we say this, our mode is fully funded. Our, our houses, our projects are not on off plan. We have the funds to do the construction. And so we present to our clients a complete unit and we engage as we start. And so our clients have a flexible, friendly uh, means, a mode of payment through which they can pay. We have individuals who have uh, the money and they say they have cash. All we need from them is a 20% uh, booking or reservation and uh, an undertaking from the bank that uh, the bank will pay uh, the 80% after we hand over the unit or we submit to the bank or the owner the completion document. We have a second option where we have an installment plan. This is an individual who says I would want to pay over or during the over the period of construction. This individual pays a 20% and then we open an escrow or joint account where the 80% is deposited on equal monthly installment, then payable again at completion. And finally, we have a third option, which is a mortgage plan, where an individual pays a 20% deposit as, co as commitment, and then he tells us who the mortgage provider is. And then we engage with the mortgage provider who pays us at the very end. And you have uh, up to 10 years to pay. 12 of years to pay uh, and this also applies for our pieces of land, our plots which are in Kiserian, which are in the river, which are in uh, Kitengera. You have up to uh, 60 months, 5 years to pay a plot which is costing you 1.5 million, which is costing you uh, 800,000 in Adi River, Kenanie, and which is costing you 750 in Kiserian. Let me ask you a very quick question because I know some have, we've talked to different uh, companies that are doing land. Yes, sir. That I have, have come for this uh, particular event. What makes your company different from all the rest? What is it that because uh, uh, again, I'm sure you're aware of this, that most people who, who in diaspora who have invested back home, there are many people who've lost money, you know, to uh, dealers who say they're doing real estate, but they're really not doing nothing, you know. So what really makes you uh, separate you from, from the rest of the companies? A, a very good question. Thank you, viewers. Uh, our model is unique in this one way. We are not on off plan. In this case, we are saying, we, so you're selling houses that are actually built already? Yeah, we have the money to do the construction ourselves. We are not telling the client, give us your money so that we build. Or you are not paying as we build. We have the money, our money first. Then you engage with us just for purposes of uh, interacting with that house which is yours and for purposes of not uh, of us not going to the market when we are already done so we are unique number one we don't ask you to give us money so that we build off plan is a no 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 we have the money to do it have another question say i have my own land yeah you know yeah i have my own plot yeah i want to build a house yeah. i come to you yeah i tell you here's my plot yeah this is the design plan of the house that i want to build yeah will you fund that or you only fund projects and plans that you yourself uh, uh, 
In others, are you the only fund projects that are by you or you also do it for an individual if the individuals want that? Very good question. We fund projects that are only ours. Oh. Why? Because I'm also debt funded. So I have to sell off and then pay off my financial. So I may not be able to go to uh, a private project. I can only engage into a private project if it adds up as a sale so that uh, eventually my money is paid back. I am able to recoup. Right. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you're doing. I will leave all the details and the contacts on how you can get in touch uh, with the company and every, any other questions that you may have. Please reach out to them. I'm sure they're going to be of help to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here today with the Finsco uh, CEO. And it's a privilege to have you and to you know see what you're serving. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. Karibu, karibu. Asante. Please tell us about your product, who you are, so that people here in diaspora and those who will be watching, they can know okay. of the services that you're offering and all that. We are told, I understand that uh, your products, you have like an outstanding uh, uh, way of taking care of those that are in diaspora and in the sense of them feeling secure with their money. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and the products that you're offering. Thank you so much, Pastor. Welcome. Uh, my name is Maura Koge, and I'm the CEO of Finsco Africa. Finsco Africa is a company located in uh, Nairobi Metropolis, right. in uh, basically Kiabu County, along the tarmac at Roiro, for those who know Roiro. And uh, we will have about four projects. Yeah. Uh, the four projects that we have is one is called uh, Riverlink Bridges, in partner with a company called Nacho. Right. That, that project right now, we've given the customers their LR numbers or the title numbers. Right. It's a gated community project. It's a 420 takers. The second one that we have is uh, Legacy. Legacy Bridges is a uh, uh, just opposite Nova Pioneer Girls, for those who know that city, right. Nova Pioneer Girls. We have a project that is there called Legacy Regions. Yes. That's where we are. And for Legacy Regions, I came with good goodies to the Americans. Awesome. I, yes, I came with the titles. Wow. Yeah. Real, real legit. Those are the titles. This is legit. <laughs> yeah. I came with the titles. Right. For anybody, any of our customers who is there, who are here in the US, 